Hello Scouts and welcome to Scouting at Home. For today's activity we're going to be doing some origami with an Australian flair. So have a look at the attached activity sheet for a step-by-step -step guide. Familiarise yourself with what you need but stay with us because Josh is going to walk us through step-by-step -step how he made an origami boomerang. Good luck and good scouting. Hello everybody, Josh here. I'm an APLR Indrapilly Friday Night Scouts and today we're going to be looking at how to make an origami boomerang that actually works. So first you want to turn in your paper like this. So actually we're just using regular A4 printing paper. Um, I haven't tried it with any other pieces of paper but you're going to need a rectangle piece of paper like this. So. We're going to do a nice fold like this and we're going to cut it down along the line or tear it but you have to be very neat as with the boomerang weight distribution is everything. You should now have Sonic looking a bit like this. As you can see these two sides are perfectly even and with a perfect little cut down the middle. So. You can go ahead and put one of these pieces away for later. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to make a fold along here. Again, being perfectly even and very precise. As you can see, my edges line up perfectly. Then all I have here is just a flat surface that I'm using just to make the creases a bit better. So you're going to fold it into little quarters like this lengthways. So what you want to do is, I'm not sure if you can see that, although uh, the paper doesn't go all the way up to the midway line. It just goes to about half a millimetre to a millimetre away from the midway line midway line and that just helps to keep everything neat uh, in the future of this when everything is folded into each other so again I'm just creasing these lines just to make them you know more definite then just to see the line a bit better I'm unfolding it you can see how these that's now folded we're going to go ahead and do the same on this side okay so now you should have something that looks like this folds open and then we fold it into there then we can just recrease this just to make sure everything's nice and neat as you can see all the corners they line up perfectly and so do the edges that's exactly what we're going for here everything just needs to be perfectly done otherwise then the weight distribution won't be right and it won't fly correctly and we really want this to fly right so all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to fold this over to this side as you can see so I'm just folding it in half just like that making sure the corners are lined up and then coming down here there we go is that lined up yes it is and again, just creasing that just just to make it a bit better. Just to make that crease stronger and more prominent. Okay, now you should have something that looks like this. You can open it up like that. And it just folds back in together. Okay, so now we're going to do what looks like we're making a tiny little aeroplane. Right? So we're going to fold this corner in to to the midway line making sure that our crease is nice and perfect there we go again just creasing that with a piece of plastic or your nails or whatever I'm just using this because I um, cut my nails recently and I don't have long nails to crease and again we're just going to do it on this side so 
that goes in like that. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the same on this side. Right, so as you can see, we now have these two flaps that can fold on either side pretty easily. Great, so now once you got to this stage, we're going to open it up. And then on this side, we're opening it up one more time. Then we're going to fold it shut just like that. And we're only doing this just to emphasize this crease. So we're, we're just doing this crease along here. Then this crease. Oops. So then we're just going to go around this little diamondy square formation along here and emphasize all the creases. Okay, so now as you can see, we've gone through and we've emphasized this crease, this crease, this crease, this crease, and this crease along here. Okay, so when when you get to this stage, you're going to fold it along here, but instead of having that fold flat, you're going to push in you're going to push up there so that when you fold it, you get this triangle fold action happening, right? So now that that's like that, that that's going to want to fold in like that. So you're going to fold that and make sure it's lined up and just give that a good old crease in there. You know, run over it like this if you need. Now that that's creased, I'm going to open it back up. And then this is where it sort of gets a little bit more tricky. So when that's like that, it's we're going to then fold this in here, fold that piece down, then fold that in there. And opening it back up, still so you just have this little frame thing then you take this side up and folding that into there when you get here you're folding that to there and you see this piece here this is the tricky part you want to fold that all the way into there now as you can see down there that piece of paper is sort of still sticking up a little bit so I'm just gonna get a little pin and just ever so slightly push it. Ooh, not very hard, not making a hole, just to push it down into that corner. You can go ahead and put that pin away now. And then you're gonna continue by folding that down into there. Right, so now you should have something looking a bit like this. On one side, it has this nice little crease on it, and then the other, it just looks like a line, all right? Now, to turn this into something that looks like this, and that doesn't fall apart, what we're gonna do is, it's gonna, we need to get these edges. So, we open this side up, and again, just like making a paper aeroplane, we're going to fold that in there and crease it and then we're going to fold that one Ooh, come on. all the way to the middle just like that so you can see you have something like that now just crease it okay so once you have something looking like this, you're going to open that up again, and this folds inwards. You're going to close it back up like that. So now you can see my edges aren't lined up perfectly, as you can see there, which is ever so slightly going to affect the flight. It's not too great, but it's also not the end of the world. So next, we're going to fold it over and just tuck this little guy into this hole here. Right, so as you can see, we've done this side, we just need to do this side now. And for this side, it has one piece of paper here, and then three layers over here. 
that's fine that's normal you haven't done anything wrong so this one again we're just going to fold it in just like we did on the other side fold that in give it a crease and then once we've got that we're going to do the same on this side there we go then we can be able to fold that in there and crease it now with this creasing it's important that you do get it right otherwise this will not turn out well so again we are opening this up tucking that just into there like that and then we're going to when we fold it back up together this is going to tuck in so this flap is tucking into this hole there you have it this is the stage in which you can decorate your boomerang as much as you want so play around with it and have as much fun as you want because these things really are fun once you get the hang of them so now that you've folded it you're going to hold it like this as showed and then you're going to throw it just like that just throw and catch it <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.